Right guys, I'm back. I know there's been zero content for me. I've got a lot of explaining to do. I know I'm not dead, I'm still alive. But I've got a lot to tell you. First things first, I got a new daily ages ago, about six months ago. I showed you that. Uh, what else? By the time this video comes out, I probably won't have it no more. Because I plan on selling it. The reason for my content, I'm not making up excuses. The reason for no content is I've been up in Birmingham, so don't blame me. And now, we're well, away to get my new, my, well, my new to you guys daily. Go, go get a remap, so let's go. Is it that simple? Um, not necessarily, because what I've already written the file into this. Oh. Is it right now? In the bad old days, yeah, man. In the in the bad old days, all you should do, you just have to read the file from the car, map it with a computer, and write it back to the car. Like if you definitely go racing all that, you don't have to fly for this purpose. Yeah, this car is one point so you can take it so quickly. Yeah, man. Oh, you just plug it in and that's it. You that's it. Out. Yeah. If you take it out, you put it in. Yeah. Hold the reset button. Yeah. Yeah, about five seconds and leave it, yeah? yeah. About a minute and then it's, it's, it's good to go. Back to normal? Yes, man. Yeah. Oh, so just take that to, oh, Yeah, but leave it, you have to leave it still in. in. Yeah. yeah, and the hard air drive it won't run. Yeah, man. You can take it on the road. Oh. oh what, is it ready? Yes, man. You got to wait. Oh. Yeah, come on, you have to keep it in because I I thought this car was diesel in it. You get more than the diesel in it. Yeah, yeah man. It's so a you little got, petrol. Yeah, man. Yeah, you get more than the diesel you get more kick on time. You get more kick on time. Yo, so how's the car feeling then? Hey, I won't lie, it just feels like it runs a bit faster. A little bit faster, yeah. Yeah. You don't feel okay? What's your feeling, man? Yeah, man, but it's 1.6. Can I get much harder than that? Yeah. Well, keep it. When you get your next ride, come on, we'll kick it. You understand? But as you can tell, I'm wearing different clothes, there's still sunlight, so it's a new day. It was too dark yesterday to do anything. Let me see, I was going to keep it a secret, my new daily, but by, by, the, by, the, by the title of this video, you probably clocked the daily, and by yesterday, you saw the clips of the steering wheel, so I'm just about to show you, so, yeah, got this six months ago, so, hope you see it, they will talk about the remapping after, so, here's some glamour shots, three, two, one. I got some money, but I need some more, I need some more. Babies them twerk on the floor, tryna hop out of them suicide doors Bread and a brick, bread and a kilo Bread and a brick, bread and a kilo I'm tryna get rich like Pablo, I'm tryna get rich like Pablo I'm tryna get rich like Pablo, I'm tryna get rich like Pablo I hope you like those shots Now it's time to talk about the one series and the remap so I got it when I first got it. You know I'm honest, innit? When I first got it, I liked it. And it just felt a bit sluggish. Only a 1.6 the yard. Cool. We met the mad scientist. That's who you met. Basically, my AUX stopped working my car. So I found this guy on YouTube. Went there and he showed me all these cars he was building. Subarus, everything. And I was like, know what? He was like, he could remap my car for me. So I was like, yeah, know what? Might as well. Put the remap on. At first, I won't lie to you. I didn't feel nothing. I thought it was all placebo. Yeah, I thought it was all, I thought it was all placebo. And then, on the way back, on the motorway, my car felt much more stable in that higher range. I was doing 120, usually I'll hear a bit of rattling, that like, I feel a bit shaky, but 120, I was doing it calm. Obviously, this was all on private roads. You get me? <laughs> private roads, of course. So, Control the environment and that. Yeah, oh, oh, come on. So obviously, you was doing all that, and then now, today, my car feels... So obviously, we reviewed it yesterday, we saved it for today for you guys. My car literally just feels like it pulls a bit harder in the higher range, so it's okay to show it off to you. Yeah, so hope you enjoy it. 
You're probably thinking as well, what's the stats and figures? To be honest, I do not know. I do not know. But from my butt dino, obviously shout out to that dude in blue, but to my butt dino, it seems as if it's a bit, you know, just the talks had a significant, like, significant improvement. That's how I'm trying to look for. That's what it feels like. Maybe wrong. Maybe wrong. But today, yeah, on the motorway, coming up to Link Shaw, Cap Shaw, follow him. When I was came, came to Link here, I was racing uh, 118D M Sport, a C Class Coupe. I don't know what this engine was in that. And a Bentley joined in as well. I don't know why it joined in, but it joined in. <laughs> so, yeah. So I, don't, I can't really tell you stats and figures, but yeah, I'll show you how it really is now. Like it keeps on pulling like usually three to four, four and a half. After that it's over, but after this remap just keeps on pulling like just keeps on going. My traction control is off, but my traction light is still popping up. Still pulling, he's heavy, it's still going. Nah, the VMAP done wonders, man. Still pulling, now change. It's a little, little difference, but it makes it makes sense, especially for how much I got it for as well. Mad, the mad scientist gave me a little deal on it, so it, to be honest, I think it's worth every penny. You may think, ah, oh, it's all bullshit, ain't done nothing to your car, but I left that 118D on the A13 today, so. Yeah, you know what I'm saying?